Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Once again, I have finished, oh God, a whole bag of empties here. It's quite a lot of products, so I thought I would just rattle through them really quickly and show you what I finished, tell you about the bits I loved, the bits I hated, the things I'd repurchase, the things I wouldn't, and all that jazz. You guys have seen so many of these videos before, so you know how this works. I'm just gonna pick out bits at random and tell you a little bit about them. I have three original source shower gels. This one is, well, actually, these two are both water infusions ones. One is grapefruit and mint, that's not very nice. And the other one is pineapple and lemon zest. Really liked these actually. Mmm, quite nice and fruity. Um, I think the grapefruit and mint was my favourite. Mmm, I really liked that actually. Didn't think I would, but yeah, they're very nice. So I finished two of those, I always buy original sauce. And then I bought this one, and oh my god, it was the worst shower gel ever. Like. Honestly, like, we just couldn't, it took us forever to finish it because we'd used the tiniest amount. It smelled so bad, like, it smelled of sweat. There's a little bit left because I just couldn't bring myself, I don't know if you can see at the bottom of my thumb is, oh, God, drop of water. Yeah, it's fresh sea salt and samphire. I have no idea what samphire is. There's water in here. Oh no, it was just so bad. Honestly, normally I'll open them up and sniff them in a shop, but I just assume that, I know, I know this is a ridiculous assumption to make, but I just assume that blue is quite a masculine scent and I love masculine fragrances. So I just bought it and it was disgusting. It just smelled like sweat, like, it, oh, awful, don't buy that one. I also finished a couple of Garnier Micellar Waters. These always feature in my videos. This one is huge. Um, I was very annoyed actually when I bought this because I added it to a Boots order to try and make up the amount for free delivery and then discovered that actually it's extortionately priced in Boots. I think it was like seven pounds, but they sell it in like B&M or the range and other places for about four or five pounds. Um, so yeah, but I love it. Um, it was nice to have a big one because it lasted forever. I also have a little one, I use these for traveling, but when I've been staying with family recently, that's when I've used it up. So yeah, these are just great. They're just cheap and cheerful, just work really well at taking your makeup off. And so I always have like loads of those in my backups. This one isn't actually finished, but um, I just didn't like it. It's from Arc Skincare and it was sent to me. It's their Skin Essential Pre-Cleanse Makeup Remover. And I just remember I absolutely hated the texture of this. It didn't work very well at taking my makeup off. I literally, mm, it smells all right. It's got a little bit of a uh, scent to it, but it just didn't take my makeup off very well. I just absolutely hated the way it felt on my skin. So I'm just gonna get rid of it because I'm just not gonna use it again. Um, and I just didn't like it. Shaw deodorant, I generally always buy these or whatever's kind of on offer. I'm not loyal to any like deodorant brand, but I quite like this one. It doesn't leave any like stains or like, but stain my clothes and it just works really well, smells really nice and fresh. A bit of an inoffensive scent, it's not floral, which I hate, so yeah, it's just a great deodorant. And it usually is like a pound or one pound fifty or something, so that's just when I buy it. Pixie Glow Tonic, I absolutely love this product. I have a huge one at home and I always have the little travel size ones. So I've just recently, I actually finished this last night. I'm staying at my aunt's house currently, so I'm in a different setting and yeah, I just bring this with me whenever I'm staying away from home and it's just perfect, doesn't leak in my makeup bag. I just wish there was a way of me refilling it so that I don't have to keep buying the smaller ones because that would be very helpful. But unfortunately, like the Garnier Micellar Water, they're just designed in a way that you just have to repurchase the minis as and when you need them. So it's a little bit annoying, but great product. My skin feels amazing, like especially when I'm feeling very hormonal or a bit spotty or whatever. I just use this as like a chemical exfoliator, which is basically what it is, um, after I've cleansed my skin and before I go to bed. And it's just great. I have um, actually got a proper review of this on my channel. It's in my top five pixie skincare products video, which I'll link on screen here in case you want to give that a watch. Oh, speaking of which, this was also in my top five Pixie skincare favourites. This is the Vitamin C Lotion. I love this. Really nice, lightweight moisturiser that smells a bit lemony. I think. Yeah, a bit lemony. Like, you'd assume orangey, you know, because it's Vitamin C, but it's got a light fragrance to it. Really, really like this. I have an in-depth review of this, and I would repurchase this, but I have 
so many moisturizers that I need to use before I get around to repurchasing this so it's one of those where I need to use up what I have but I would definitely recommend this and if I was to go out and buy a moisturizer I would definitely buy this one because I absolutely loved it I actually really liked that in conjunction with the serum but I still have quite a lot of that left so that's why it's not in my empties you will have to excuse how disgusting this bottle is I'm sorry I'm not going to show you all of it's grubby <laughs> this is a shampoo it was sent to me it's by it's a Paul Mitchell shampoo it's their lavender mint collection and this is the moisturizing co-wash shampoo if you've seen previous videos you'll have seen I finished the curl cream which I really liked and there was another product this is a shampoo and conditioner in one I liked it my hair smelled really nice when I used it I loved the pump I love a big bottle of shampoo I have a lot of hair I go for a lot of shampoo so this was great love the packaging and everything but I just don't get on with sulfate free shampoos I need it to lather up I don't feel like it really helped get rid of any product build up it didn't really do a lot for my hair other than making it smell nice and so I do have a little bit left but I just didn't enjoy using it I just love using a shampoo that lathers up and you can really feel it working and gets rid of all the product and your hair just feels like squeaky clean I love that feeling and this didn't give me that feeling so as much as I love the packaging and the smell it wasn't for me it's actually lavender and mint so it's not even like a scent I thought I'd love but I really like the combination of the two it's quite interesting okay I finished quite a lot of body moisturizers I don't know why but I went through a phase where I'd always pick up these Vaseline moisturizers they used to be like a pound or whatever and I just think it's such a great idea because I'm very lazy at moisturising my body as I know a lot of people are. In the summer I'm on it because I want to wear dresses and skirts and whatever. I'm talking about, well yeah, body. But especially my legs, I'm just very lazy about doing it in the winter so I go through a lot of these in the summer. <laughs> and these are just crap honestly like it's a great idea because you literally just come out the shower dry yourself off spritz it and then just rub it in great idea but it is just so thin and watery and i like a luxurious sort of body butter one that's like really hydrating for very dry skin i, I have very dry skin on my like legs and this is just crap it's just so like watery it's a great concept i don't know why i always buy these i think i buy them with good intentions that i'll use them in the winter even though no one's seeing my legs but i just get lazy about it you know i don't always like keep on top of it on a daily basis but i wouldn't buy them again they're just not I'm just not a fan of them and to be honest i don't even think they'd be able to improve them because they'd have to be quite thin and runny in order to be able to spray them on so i don't know how you'd improve it but yeah not a big fan of those glad they're gone to be honest because i'm on a mission to use up all these products that i wasn't really a fan of during lockdown and i think i've done pretty well this one i actually found in the clearance section of my boots and it's from maui moisture body care it's the extra hydrating sheer butter body lotion for very dry skin and oh my god i absolutely loved this very thick it's like a body butter it's not really nice yeah it's not nice it wasn't like amazing i can't describe it it's uh coconut oil and macadamia oil yeah it's not nice but it just was so hydrating and it does say for very dry skin and i think it really helped like add so much moisture to my skin oh and it also contains aloe vera so yeah it was very very hydrating and my legs just like looked really great with it on you know sometimes when you apply a moisturizer even to your face and it just plumps it up it just looks a little bit sort of shiny but like just looks really really good i really like this um i can't remember how much i got it for on clearance i don't know why it was on clearance because they it hasn't been discontinued i've still seen it like in supermarkets and things i would definitely buy this again it's a bit pricey i think it's like nine pounds like full price and i got it for four or 450 but yeah it was really really good so i would repurchase it but again as with pretty much everything else i just have so many products on the go at home that i'm just i'm on a mission to just use up everything which i don't think will ever happen and then i can actually just go out and repurchase the things that i really love like this 
but yeah really really nice definitely give that a go if you have dry skin because my legs are dry af and that was brilliant haven't seen one of these in my empties for a very long time it's the nars radiant creamy concealer in the shade caramel i don't use this anymore i filmed a video about a year ago maybe even more about how you can get extra product out by taking the stopper out and i just had a few leftovers and i don't know if, i don't know why i kept the packaging because so i thought i'd try and get some more product out and it's completely dried up um i used it a couple of times just when like running errands and i wanted to go out and just wanted to, just a concealer and no other makeup on i used it but it's just i think it's gone off and it's just time to like get rid of it i don't use this concealer anymore just because i have found better ones that are slightly more affordable but that is a great concealer nevertheless i've had this avino moisturizing cream sample for ages and there just wasn't enough product in this to be honest for me to like i did one leg and i was like oh i've run out of moisturizer it was fine it was quite nice it's very thick which is what i like it's for dry and sensitive skin um it was great but i mean you can't really tell much from a sample but i finished it it's gone i'm glad <laughs> i also have this loxitan dry skin foot cream that i think i got for christmas um really really liked this it's got a nice scent to it let's smell it mm, mm. it's got a really nice like minty scent uh fragrance to it but yeah really great foot cream absolutely loved it i have no idea how much it costs full price this is obviously a travel size one 30 mil didn't last very long but i really enjoyed using it and then Randomly, I bought these exfoliating foot socks. We went to Swindon as soon as lockdown was lifted and we could stay in hotels. We just found like a really cheap deal and it happened to be in Swindon, middle of nowhere. And we just went for the weekend just to stay in a hotel and just get out of the house. And we went to the outlets there. There's a random beauty shop there and they sold these exfoliating foot socks. This is a copy of a, the Korean brand Baby Feet, I think. I've had those before, they're great. But these work in exactly the same way. It's so gross, but so satisfying. It's like a plastic sock that you just put on and you leave it on for like a hot 45 minutes. We leave it on overnight, whatever. And like, it just does something to your feet. And then over the next sort of two weeks, your skin just starts to shed and it is so disgusting. Like, honestly, it looks gross. And over two weeks, your skin will just shed on your feet like a snake and it's awful. But then you're left with the softest, smoothest feet, like the skin on your feet. And it's just incredible. And these were so good to use during lockdown when salons weren't open. Because even when lockdown was lifted, beauty salons weren't open for ages. And so I was like dying for a pedicure because it was warm, it was summer, like no one wants to see crusty feet like out and about. And these were just incredible um i wish i bought more because i have no idea where you buy this brand from it's called skin academy and they were two pound fifty but yeah i think they all work in the same way so whether you get the korean ones or not but yeah if you see these definitely give them a go because while it's gross it's incredible <laughs> okay speaking of crusty feet i'm really sorry to have to admit to this on camera but i have the most disgusting feet i hate feet talking about them looking at them touching them whatever and i saw on my friend's instagram story that she bought her husband an o'keefe's gift set and it had this healthy feet foot cream on it and she didn't show the before picture and she kind of put a disclaimer up saying Look, this is a bit disgusting so like if you don't want to see this like just tap away but she showed the after and she was saying that he had like really deep cracks in like his heels and he only had a tiny sample of this and he used it for however long and his feet were like super smooth and i was like what like i need to try this again before salons were open before we can get pedicures and i have to say it didn't work that well for me it was really good don't get me wrong maybe my feet are just too far gone i don't know it did it did work and it, i think it says yeah for best results apply to exfoliated skin on heels 
and other dry areas at bedtime but I just found that my feet were so sticky they were kind of sticking to the duvet sticking to the flat sheet and it was just really weird like it didn't feel very nice on but the actual texture of this cream was so thick I actually have another one of these I haven't been using it but I picked them up in boots and they're not cheap but it was I got it on a buy one get one half price deal so I just had faith in her and bought two they are good and they did improve my feet it just wasn't perfection it wasn't the same as like when you go to get a pedicure and they pull out a blade and you know so it is really good and maybe if your feet aren't as disgusting and crusty as mine then it might work really well for you it works really well for her husband and it says it's for extremely dry cracked feet so yeah i was really impressed with that because i always just assume that these things just don't work and they're quite gimmicky Some more skincare i used a garnier moisture bomb tissue mask again i think i took this to our hotel in swindon i loved doing a sheet mask in a hotel fell asleep with it on i always do and oh my skin just felt really nice really like this actually it was very good because i find a lot of sheet masks are just a bit meh but this was really good and very affordable too because it's Garnier. Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. I have used this forever and absolutely love it. It's probably the only mascara that I repurchase because it's affordable. At the moment I have a high-end one that was sent to me that I equally love but I would just go for the cheaper option because they both kind of do the same thing and I love them just as much as one another. And yeah I've shown this before but I just love the wand, it just really grips onto my lashes and it lifts them a little bit because nothing really lifts my lashes and my lashes don't curl very well so I love this mascara. I also have the Revolution, I can't say it, Revolution Pro Eyebrow Pencil. It has a spoolie on one end, I hate these pencils, I must have bought them on a 3 for 2, did not like them, this was the very last one and it doesn't say the shade anywhere on the pencil and I think when I bought them somebody must have like swapped them over in the boxes because I always go for like the darkest brown slash black and this was like ready and it just wasn't, didn't work for me so I kind of used it up on like little bits of my eyebrows and then just coloured it in with the rest of it just to finish it but yeah it's cheap and cheerful like very affordable but it lasts for about a week and so you have to keep repurchasing it and i just wasn't do not do not like the revolution pro pencils i have some eye drops in here asda eye drops for dry eyes i always I, I always have to carry eye drops i have the driest most sensitive eyes and in fact today i'm wearing colored contact lenses for the first time in years because they just wouldn't sit right in my eyes for years and i thought i'd try them today and so far so good because i've missed them but i can already feel my eyes getting quite dry so i'm constantly just putting eye drops in and i just buy the cheapest ones because i feel like they're all the same thing like optrex is quite expensive these are just the asda branded dry eye ones safe for contact lenses that's the only thing that i have to make sure they do i also have this formula absolute ultimate sleep cream from MS. must have got this on a beauty advent calendar like last year no two three years ago quite old but it's really really nice like nighttime moisturizer my skin felt really plump and like hydrated when i woke up and it lasted like i could, must have got like five or six uses out of it it's 15 mil like mini one i would repurchase this but again i have so many products at home that i wouldn't go out and buy this in a hurry but it was if you're looking for a good like nighttime moisturizer this is a really good one i have the cordially micellar water must have got a sample of this somewhere and very good probably better than my garnier one actually but for the difference in price that i assume it is it doesn't make much difference to me but it's got a nice like cucumbery well i can't really tell but i think it has a faint cucumbery like really fresh sort of scent but it's not inoffensive again I think it's a really good micellar water. Um, liked how it felt on my skin, took my makeup off really well. And like I said, it's probably just a little bit better than the Garnier one, the way that it feels, but I can imagine it costs a lot more than like a fiver. So I would just repurchase the Garnier one. The Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. This is really old. I've refilled this pot so many times. You can't even read the words Clinique on it anymore, but I love this. This is my favorite balm cleanser like of life and 
I finished loads of the big ones and when I used to travel I'd decant them into this little one but I've run out of all of them at the moment. I'm in two minds about whether to keep this jar or not so I can refill it and um, like clean it out and refill it when I go back to buying this again. I have another body lotion, the Molten Brown Ylang Ylang Nourishing Body Lotion. I think I got this in a gift set or it might have been stolen from a hotel. Smells very nice, not like rich enough for me. And it's very hard to take the product out of this. There's still a little bit left. It's just really hard like when it's this sort of packaging. It's just open and so you, you can't, it's not really big enough to get your finger in. I suppose you could probably use the back of a spoon or something. But yeah, it smells really nice. Nice sort of moisturiser like for my arms maybe. But for my legs, I want something like really thick and like nourishing. And this didn't quite cut the mustard. I feel like I've been talking forever. So I'm going to end with four moisturisers really quickly to sort of whiz through them. First up, I have the Boots Vitamin C Brightening Moisturising Cream. This is a very affordable brand. It was sent to me, I think... All their products are like £4 or £5, really, really cheap. I didn't use this, I didn't finish this, it was just. My skin is very sensitive to vitamin C and often it can break me out and this did break me out. So I have the whole range. Um, I use the eye cream actually and that's fine. But it just, it just completely broke me out and I just couldn't use it and it just didn't feel, just felt a bit cheap, if you know what I mean. And... I wasn't a fan. I also finished the Illuma by Image Skincare Intense Brightening Cream. This was nice. I liked the packaging so that you don't have to, you know, stick your fingers in pots. I do have a full review of this on my blog and I don't feel like it necessarily brightened my skin, but it was a nice light moisturiser to use. And once I'd reviewed it, I kind of stopped using it and I had a little bit left, so I've just finished it off. I think this brand is quite pricey and this wasn't my favourite product from the brand, so I'm not sure that I would repurchase this one. Okay, this is a bit of an odd one. This is also from Arc Skincare. This is their Age Defend Replenishing Moisturiser formulated for your 30s and 40s. First of all, this arrived broken, so I couldn't get into it. And then it said, do not remove this little middle thing and just did. And then it broke it. Somehow he fixed it, but I just couldn't get any. Oh, okay. There is product left in there. Okay, I couldn't get any product out, and it was a nice light moisturiser. But I just I like the idea of the packaging, but it took me so long to figure out how to like use it. It was just a bit of a faff. Hmm. It was a nice light moisturiser, very good for summer. It wasn't like too thick or anything and it sinks into the skin quite well it's a great base for makeup it was just a nice moisturizer but i'm not a fan of this clunky packaging i much prefer it to be like a thin tube i'm all about travel friendly packaging even though we're not traveling at the moment so yeah it was a nice idea i prefer i guess i prefer this to sticking fingers into pots but this one was just this is just not even finished actually i don't know like loads keeps coming out so i'm not gonna bin this Maybe you'll see it in my next empties video, who knows? <laughs> Last but not least, I have the Glossier Priming Rich Moisturiser. No, the Priming Moisturiser Rich. This had a very strong lavender scent. And I'm not the biggest fan of lavender. I liked how rich the moisturiser was in the colder months. It was great for winter, very good as a primer or as a base under makeup. And I really, really liked it. But I think I prefer their tube version not just for the packaging i prefer the packaging of that too but for the formula because it's a lot thinner and i don't personally feel like i need a rich moisturizer just for example as somebody who has dry skin would probably have appreciated this a lot more than i did because it depends on your skin type and i have normal skin types so i feel like i don't really need something that rich and that heavy on my face but it was nice nonetheless I definitely wouldn't repurchase it. It was just too lavendery for me. But yeah, that is the end of my empties. Let me know if you still enjoy watching these videos because I'm aware that I've probably filmed more than 10, possibly 15 of these videos over the course of my channel. So if it's still something that you enjoy watching, then please let me know in the comments down below. But thank you for watching and I will see you very soon with a new video. Bye.